to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today please if you are new on this platform my name is milton Fongfa, and in today's video i'm going to be talking about uh, studies in cameroon okay i am going to be talking about studies in cameroon all right please before i go into the details um if you are new and you haven't subscribed do me a favor and you tap that little red subscribe button the subscribe button is found beneath this video written in red Please just tap on it and make sure you turn on the notifications, all right, so that uh, you will be the first to watch more amazing videos in the days ahead. Thank you so much for doing that. With no further ado, I am going to be talking about education in Cameroon or studies in Cameroon. Cameroon is one of uh, countries in the African continent and it is uh, a West African country located in the African continent, okay. For those who didn't know, Cameroon is found in the African continent. And Cameroon is uh, located west. Okay, It is somehow on the west of Africa, though it is a Central African country. Okay, Cameroon is being bordered by Nigeria, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Central African Republic, and Chad. Okay, in all directions, the north, south, east, west directions. Okay, now... As an, uh, an international student, uh, Cameroon also stands a chance to get more thousands of internationals, uh, um, home-based students who are looking or who seek education, okay? So in order for you to study in Cameroon, if you are an international student, please, there are certain things you need to know and make sure you watch this video till the end because there are a lot of things I'm going to talk about here which uh, are very important, okay? As I said, Cameroon is bordered by Nigeria. Gabon, Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, okay, and Chad, okay. And now, Cameroon is also one of those countries with um, high demand in education, okay. And uh, the higher education system in Cameroon functions in a certain way that you, as an international student, it also functions in your country, okay. Cameroon has a list of public universities, private universities, state-owned universities, and uh, universities which are not even recognized by the states all right there are over so many universities in Cameroon there are over eight uh, state recognized universities in Cameroon a lot of private institutions so if you are looking for a study destination in uh, the African continent Cameroon is also a place you can go and study and degrees from Cameroon universities especially the state recognized universities are highly recognized in every country in the world okay and some of these universities that you might know are found in almost all the cities in Cameroon. Examples include the, the University of Douala, the University of Yaoundé 1 and 2, because there are two state-recognized universities in Yaoundé, the University of Ngaoundere, the University of Nchang, the University of Marwa, the University of Bamenda, and, of course, my own university, the University of Boya, okay, in the city of Boya in the southwest region of Cameroon. Now, I have said there are a list of public universities, there are state recognized universities, there are also private polytechnics, okay, there are also private institutions of higher education in Cameroon. And if you want to study in Cameroon, please, there are so many things you need to know. First of all, I'm going to start with the tuition fee. Tuition fee in Cameroon uh, University, especially the, 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 the state owned universities, is not that expensive. Okay, I'm going to the figures I will be giving you here. I will be giving them in franc CFA, the currency used in Cameroon. All right, if you are from West Africa, East Africa, from Europe or Asia, please anywhere in the world, please convert these currencies in your own local currencies or the euros or the dollars in order to know. Okay, because I will be giving them in CFA franc. All right, now the currency used in Cameroon is called uh, CFA franc. All right, and uh, Tuition fee is paid in CFA in Cameroon, all right? And you also need to know that uh, those students coming from Mali, okay, Central Africa, okay, Nigeria, they do not need a visa to enter into Cameroon, all right? As I said, students coming from Central African Republic, okay, Nigeria, um, Equatorial Guinea, some of them don't need not even some they don't need to pay tuition fee in cameroon universities okay and state recognized universities as i said are the university of boya the university of yaoundé one and two the university of gaoundé the university of bamenda the university of marwa 
and so on and so forth okay if you intend to study in a public university know that your tuition fee is going to range between 62,000 franc CFA to 105,000 CFA franc okay so that is the tuition fee though there are some petty petty uh, monies you are going to spend along the way like registration tuition union uh, union fee and all the rest okay but before you move to Cameroon make sure you have a health insurance policy an insurance policy that is going to cover any health problem you have or repatriation from Cameroon or everything like that please make sure you have a health insurance policy okay as I said tuition fee ranges from uh, 67,000 or 65,000 to 105 Turkish Lira in public universities in Cameroon and you also have to note that private universities tuition fee ranges from 250,000 franc CFA to about 550,000 franc CFA especially in private universities and um, private owned universities okay there are also Catholic institutions in Cameroon there are also Presbyterian institutions in Cameroon okay so if you want to do an admission to study in Cameroon please always find out which one is the best option for you or if you intend to study in Cameroon know that that is what is going to happen in terms of tuition fee now your qualifications what qualifies you to study in Cameroon in any public university or a higher institution of education is you must have graduated from a high school if you want to get a bachelor's degree in Cameroon you must have graduated from a high school okay if you want to get a master's degree in Cameroon you must have graduated from a bachelor's degree institution in your country or any recognized institution in Cameroon Cameroon universities you can in Cameroon universities you can also obtain a PhD program okay like many other countries in Africa Egypt Morocco South Africa and the rest Cameroon is not an exception okay you can also get a PhD or back a PhD in Cameroon so you have to note all of that okay now I want to talk about uh, the accumulation okay accommodation in Cameroon can be gotten in student hostels okay I will give an example here like if you are a student who is applying to study in the University of Boyo okay Cameroon accommodation there, are, there is a student hostel okay you can get accommodation in the student hostel you can get accommodation outside the, the student uh, campus or the campus outside the campus and accommodation costs in Cameroon usually range from 15,000 to like 500,000 per month okay so it depends on you you can find an accommodation that you will pay per year okay you can find an accommodation that you can pay six months ahead okay you can find an accommodation that you can be paying every month it depends on which one you find but in Cameroon not that you will be spending like 15,000 to 500,000 francs CFA every month okay for your accommodation as I said you have to also understand that to apply in Cameroon universities the time to, for application is usually not the same in all states private and public owned universities okay for example if you are applying for a a public university in Cameroon or let me say a, a state university for example the University of Boya time for application is usually July August okay in in the University of Boya then September you get the the results then when is October lectures begin in the University of Boya okay saying as I was saying lectures begins in the University of Boya in October likewise other state universities lectures also begins there like the University of Yaounde the University of Ngaoundere the University of Marwa you can get lectures from October or November it depends on the school calendar okay that um, has been put in place for that particular year but from the University of Boya you your lectures will obviously start from October or November if anything goes wrong okay now you also have to understand that as an international student I mentioned some countries where some um, individuals will not need a visa to enter into Cameroon or that is visa free for them to enter into Cameroon but you as an international you need to have a visa to enter into Cameroon and to study or for whatsoever reason and if you are coming for a study purpose you need a visa from the Cameroonian embassy in your country okay and for you to apply for the visa you need a passport uh, a passport or let me say a passport identification photo that is um, you in person 
right, for apply for that visa, your passport, your passport in particular must be at least one year to validity. What I mean here is, if you are applying for the visa, make sure that your expiring date and the date of production, you still have up to one year for it to expire, okay? Now you also need uh, the university uh, application document, or let me say your admission letter, all right, in order to apply. You also need a medical certificate, and you also need an application fee in order for you to apply for this visa. This goes to um, international students, and citizens from Mali, Chad, Central African Republic, Nigeria, are exempted from this visa uh application so citizens of these countries they do not need a visa to enter into cameroon all right so that is what you need to know okay that is what you need to know now cost of living in <coughs> cameroon cameroon oh let me i already talked about housing in cameroon now let me talk about the cost of living if you are a student and you are moving in cameroon or you are moving to cameroon sorry and you intend to study know that the cost of living in Cameroon is very cheap okay for example if you live in a city like the city of Boya all right you will be spending closely like 20,000 CFA every month all right for your cost of living now if you live in a city like Yaoundé you will be spending like 25 to 30,000 CFA every month likewise same thing goes to those who will be living in Jiang all right Jiang is found around the west region Okay, those uh, around, uh, those going to the far north to study at the University of Marowa, you will be spending close to 30,000 francs CFA each month, all right? So that is what, um, food stuff in Cameroon is very cheap, all right? So you don't have to bother about food stuff in Cameroon. You will be able to get more food, all right? Some, in some markets, you can even get with one dollar, you can buy so many things, so you have to note all of these things, so... And again, if you want to apply for Cameroon universities, all right, I didn't talk about the application because I wanted to mention it at the last stage, okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what you need to know about application system in Cameroon. In order for you to apply, I already talked about the documents you will need, all right? But remember that there are certain requirements for you to apply in Cameroon. A part of you having a bachelor's degree to study a master's in Cameroon, there are also other requirements involved, okay? You also have to show some qualifications. For example, if you want to apply for physics at the master's degree level in Cameroon universities, please make sure that your bachelor's degree was obtained in physics or you have some knowledge in physics. If you want to apply for geology in Cameroon, all right, like in the University of Boya, if you want to apply for geology in Cameroon, in the University of Boya, you must have at least mathematics, geography, okay, or geology in high school, all right? Those who did physics, chemistry, and mathematics are also opportune to study geology in the University of Boya. So these are some of the things you need to know. Don't, don't have history and you come to apply for chemistry in the University of in Cameroon or in any university in Cameroon you will not be selected okay so always apply for something which is which has an alignment with your past education or which has something to do with your past education okay that way you will be given an admission and as I said admission runs from July to like November it depends on the university you are applying for in the University of Boya you have to apply from July and August okay in September your results will be out and those who are selected will be published then in October lectures begins if you want to apply for any university in Cameroon and you don't find the link or you find it difficult to apply for this university please go to freeapply.com you type in the name of the university in Cameroon you want to apply for it is going to pop up along other things then you can now follow up and go to the link and you apply all right freeapply.com is a it's a site you can easily apply for universities abroad with no other problem, all right? If at all you don't find the university website or if you can't go through the university website directly, use freeapply.com, all right? Guys, that was what I have for you, I, or I brought to you today about studies in Cameroon. In the days ahead, I will be talking about studies in South Africa and studies in South Korea, all right, because I have uh, so many people requesting a video about South Korea. I'm going to talk about that in the days ahead, all right? Stay tuned. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do me a favor and you hit the subscribe button right away, all right? Thank you so much for doing that.
and see you in my next video bye bye